Hello and welcome to another episode. Uh, this is the first episode I'll have recorded in my new Kiri V3. Um, one of the things I did a video about for my test drives was the amount of water that gets in the charge port um, because the door has got no rubbers on it. Um, even the manual itself warns you about water in the charge port. You know, I know there are safety protocols in place to stop you getting electrocuted and all that but it's not good that water can actually get in there. So I've been looking for a, an AC charge port bung to put over the top. Um, the one I found is a combined AC and DC one for 1129. That was designed for a Tesla Model 3. Now, we've already got a DC plug on the bottom, so I'm gonna have to cut this with my scissors and cut it down. And I think that will do a good job. I'll put a link to what I've ordered and bought in the description. If anybody finds a separate AC one, because I couldn't, uh, please let me know in the comments. And there it is, just cut off. So fingers crossed that is going to work. Um, I might be able to make a hole in it and tie it to the DC one. I'll have to see. But for now, this manual option is the best thing I can do. So, the seam jobs are good and it seems to work fine and it's sealing it, keeping the water out. So, I'll continue to use that. Uh, whether or not I tie it to the bottom and make a hole, uh, I'll have to see. But uh, for now, this will do. Hope you found that useful. Thank you for watching.